Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then please click the subscribe button. I post videos about endometriosis, PCOS, uh, fashion, um, yeah, all sorts. So I would love you to stick around. So today's video is a bit of a different one. And I just want to mention that these items that I'm mentioning in the video um, have been kindly gifted to me by Hollywood Browser. Also, I do have a discount code which will be available in the description box below and also probably on the screen somewhere. Um, and I do earn a little bit of commission from that too. So I just wanted to disclose that all first before we start. But it kind of goes without saying that all opinions are my own. Um, I get approached by a few brands and I only choose to work with ones that I believe the products are good. I actually bought the Hollywood browser first off my own back, um, tried it and absolutely fell in love with it and then ended up working with them. So yeah, I'm a real fan of the Hollywood browser. Today we are talking about shaving your face. <laughs> Well, dermaplaning. So I don't know how much you guys know about dermaplaning or shaving your face, but I was terrified. So I have PCOS myself, and part of having PCOS, one of the symptoms that I experience is excess hair growth. So um, yeah, it's not great. I lose hair from my head, and then it seems to work its way in other areas of my body. <laughs> and I find that I do get quite a bit of peach fuzz and hair on my face. Also, my eyebrow hair is super, super thick and coarse, so threading is really painful. So when I came across the Hollywood browser, I was so, so impressed, but scared. So I was really scared to try it because it says everywhere on their website, you know, if you've got PCOS, please don't worry, the hair will only grow back as thick as it was before. And I was so worried about it, but I went for it. And honestly, I haven't looked back since. It's been the best decision I've ever made. So it's completely true, I can vouch for it. Um, the hair really does just grow back as it was before. Um, it doesn't make it thinner, it doesn't make it grow back nicer, it, it just grows back exactly the same, but it definitely doesn't make it thicker, I haven't noticed. So this is the browser, this is how it arrives. This one was kindly sent to me from the lovely people at Hollywood Browser. Um, this is the black one. I have them in all different colours, um, but black is really good. It's quite discreet, so you can just chuck it in your handbag. So I'm going to unbox this with you now on camera. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of this. So it says on here that this is a hair removal and dermaplaning tool. It shapes your eyebrows and removes peach fuzz. It removes hair and exfoliates, which it definitely does. Uh, quick, easy and pain free. It's perfect for eyebrows, sideburns, peach fuzz, upper lip, chin, bikini line, stray hairs, ears, hairline, neck, toes and fingers. So you can use it pretty much anywhere. Now I will just say now, and I don't know if this is because I have PCOS, but I have used this on my upper lip and if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I wouldn't recommend it for your upper lip um, if you've got PCOS. I found that the hair, not that it came back thicker, but it came back quicker than other methods of hair removal. So um, I sometimes get my upper lip threaded. It's so painful, wouldn't recommend it. Um, or I just use hair removal cream, which I actually find keeps it away longer. So that's the one place that I wouldn't recommend using this personally. That's just from my experience. Um, but for face, I use it as well for, um, like if I'm out in the summer in a dress and I find that I've missed a bit shaving, just quickly whack it out. It's fantastic. It's the best tool you will ever get. So this is how it comes. So you've got the browser itself and then you've got a nice little protective case for it to go into. And this is what the browser looks like. So I'm really hoping that it's going to focus. Let's see if it focuses. This is what the browser looks like. This is it open. Now the blade is not sharp. So I can go like that, I can go like that. It's not sharp at all. There's really no risk of you cutting yourself using this. I recommend that you use this at a 45 degree angle and you try and pull your skin. Um, if you're using it on your face, I just pull my skin slightly to get a nice smooth line for me to be able to use it. Um, and yeah, you do little short gentle strokes and off you go. Now I'm really lucky that Hollywood Browser also sent me one of their deluxe puffs, which looks like this. And it's super, super soft. And what you can do is when you're using it, after you do a couple of strokes, you can wipe it on the brush there. 
that's what it should look like. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do my face on camera right now, but I'm going to try and insert a clip or do another video of me using it. There is a video on my Instagram, which is at endo with Emma underscore, um, explaining how to use it and me actually doing it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a bit on my arm. So I'm just going to shave a little bit of hair on my arm and then wipe it there. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty amazing. I'm hoping you guys can see. So it's pretty amazing the, the hair that comes off um, and that's so quick and easy. They do lots of other products on their website. I've also got their, um, I think it's called Perfect Brow. It's kind of a brow specific tool with a slightly um, smaller razor part to it. Um, and that's fantastic too for just tidying up your brows. Um, and I think they do a smoother as well. So they do lots of different tools, but this is just my staple piece. I love it. It goes everywhere with me. It's fantastic on holiday when you're at the beach, just in case you've missed a little bit somewhere. So some of the questions that I know the team at Hollywood Browser get asked quite a lot from people with PCOS is, how often do you have to do it? Does it grow back thicker? So does it grow back thicker? No, in my opinion, it really doesn't. How long do you have to do it? So maybe because I have PCOS, I might have to do it a bit more often than other people. So I do mine, I do my face every two weeks, two, three weeks, um, and it doesn't grow back stubbly at all. So you don't have to worry about, you know, waiting. You can wait longer. Um, I just like to keep on top of it every two, three weeks. If you're just doing kind of your legs or something like that, I would say that it takes um probably like one two days to start coming through um but i think that's the same as shavings so there's not much difference there another question that quite a lot of my friends ask and i know that people ask on the website too is why why don't play and why do it so i don't think you have to do it it's not a necessity um it's just something that i chose to start doing because it was bothering me and it's just been the best decision i've ever made really um it leaves my skin feeling incredibly smooth and then putting makeup on top is fantastic um sorry the light is going a little bit so this might <laughs> i'm not picking a very good day to film this on <laughs> um so yeah i find that after i've used the browser on my face my makeup application just goes on so smoothly it's fantastic and people really notice a difference people always say to me oh your skin looks amazing so it just helps kind of get rid of some of that texture um, and like i said the peach fuzz on your face it's a really great way of exfoliating as well and taking off those dead skin cells that are sitting on your face. So yeah, I just absolutely love it. I'm a real fan of this product. Um, and like I said, being someone that suffers with PCOS and hormonal problems, it was a huge risk to take, but one that definitely paid off and I just can't recommend it enough. Um, so yeah. So I really hope that this video has been helpful, especially if you are looking to buy a Hollywood browser and if you've got PCOS as well. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments box below and I will do my best to answer them or the team at Hollywood Browser will answer them as well. Also, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm quite active over there. So it's at endo with Emma underscore. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I'm quite active over there. So I, um, yeah, will do my best to kind of answer any questions that you might have. And if you would like to buy a browser, then please use my code endo with emma 20 this will get you 20 percent off um, and i would really appreciate it if you could use that um, and you can use that all the time i think that's kind of a code that will be there the whole time um, if it doesn't work please do send me a dm and i will get that sorted for you um, it's a really good price point and i just think it's a fantastic tool it's a real must have to have this summer especially thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you very very soon